Hola, buenos días, soy Nico. Look for the silver lining, look for the silver lining. Can the silver lining look for me? Because hmm. at this point, this bitch is going to have to wait for my 10 minute break because she want to play hide and go seek so fucking bad. Help me. And today we're here to talk about something that's very upsetting to my spirit because it actually involves one of my favorite big booty zesty niggas. But before we get started, if you like this kind of content, make sure to follow me on patreon.com slash nukes aesthetics for more exclusive lives, weekly videos, be a part of the podcast, which will be uploaded. Um, my flight is actually tonight. <laughs> That's why you see the suitcases in the background. I'm actually going to head out in about an hour or two. So I should be back to schedule programming by the end of the week. If you want to hear me talk about my collab, Nico, the big one. I know most of you saw it. I'm already becoming a meme again. <laughs> if you want to hear me talk about that, it's going to be on Patreon. That's usually where I go into like detail about that. So if you want my tea, once again, the cheapest description is $3 and you get all the tea. But moving on. So today we're here to talk about something that I feel all of us need to learn as we get older and we spend more time on the internet. Girl, keep your mouth closed. What? Just learn to shut up a little. What did Karisha say? I cook, I clean, I smash, and I shut up. I feel like a lot of us need to have that mentality because Fat Kit, Nico, who is Fat Kit? If you do not remember him, he is one of my favorite big booties that's in that I actually defended <laughs> because he had the whole fiasco with the pastor and I explained how first the pastor was wrong and he knew what he was getting into so he wasn't really like blindsided when Fat Cat uploaded the video he let him record of them. Nico, yes, a pastor decided to do a video with him. If you want more details on that whole scenario, I did two videos on that. So go check those out. Just type in Nico's Aesthetics and Fat Cat into the search engine. But yes, that's how I originally introduced my following to Fat Cat because other than that, all he do is get his money. You know, I really don't see him in that much mess unless he's going back and forth with the church folk. Other than that, he just keeps his low radar. But recently he's been doing things for clout. Nico, do anything for clout. No, but seriously, he's been doing like more public content. He recently uploaded a video where he was in a theater and quote unquote got caught. Look, the lady is behind him. Well, this is it good? <laughs> I know. This camera thing here is a lot to cover like now. Okay, we got you. It seemed real, but then people were basically saying this isn't a real theater because first and foremost, it's an old ass movie playing in the background. Second of all, the lady is giggling when she's saying, what are y'all doing? Put your clothes on. Y'all got to clean the seats up and go. So, I mean, sometimes people are very nonchalant, so it really depends. It could have been real, but at the end of the day, he's doing skits and or doing public play, trying to get more views on his videos, because sometimes even beautiful big names flop. It's really that simple. So even they sometimes go out of their normal comfort zone to get more eyes on their content. And I really feel like him needing more eyes on his content is what's going to lead into this next conversation. So he basically confirmed an outing of a new cast member of Real Bad Boys of Houston, Bad Boys, Houston, Houston, Bad Girl. I don't, I don't watch Zeus. Nico, I do not watch Zeus. Like when I talk about Zeus Network TV, it's not for my demographic. You know, I don't watch Real Housewives. I don't watch Love and Hip Hop. So I actually have to go out of my way to do research concerning those TV shows because I don't watch it. It's just something I don't support. Nika, if you want to see gay niggas fight, log on to Twitter. Spend a weekend in ATL. Hell, spend a weekend in Houston. Nico, I know I talk, <laughs> I know I cover a lot of stories about ATL, but Houston girls actually scrap. Like, I've been in Houston most of my life. If you want to see gay niggas fight, go out any Saturday night. You will run into at least two different fights. But basically, there is a new cast member on Bad Boys Houston, and he is fine. Nico, I don't watch the show. I was never interested in watching the show. 
when they said Orlando Brown was going to be on the TV show, I still was not interested. But when they showed this nigga, <laughs> Nico, that man is fine. So what, what I was told from the show is that he identifies as straight. And people were just questioning, well, what's his sexuality? What's his sexuality? Because he is so fine. Everybody wants to get at him. And no one, no one at all, no one reached out for this. No one asked for this. No one tapped his shoulder and said, hey, do you know this fat kid decided to take it into his hands to go online and out this man's sexuality? So basically, he came online unprompted unwarranted nobody asked just so that he could get more attention he basically said oh yeah he used to be gay he's no longer gay though he's fully straight now or so he says and we used to talk and he used to have a boyfriend and i don't know i know all his tea and i didn't agree with it nico if somebody is specifically trying not to talk about their sexuality no matter the case it may be it's not your business to out them if he didn't come forward and say this is my sexuality this is who I identify with. This is who I love. That's not your business to go out of your way to out him. And I understand that suddenly people are coming forward saying, oh, well, if you were on Tumblr, you knew his tea. You knew that he used to be gay, but now he identifies as straight. Well, clearly not everyone was on Tumblr because majority of the people watching this show did not know his sexuality. So I understand a few of y'all are like, oh, it's no big deal. He's just re-outing somebody that went back into the closet. But that's still not his place. And you can tell because he wasn't asked, because he, it, it was unwarranted, you could tell it was done just for attention. And my thing is, if you were asked personally, you know, if somebody struck up a conversation about him with you and you were like, oh, he's gay in the confines of your home, that's one thing. It's still tacky to out somebody's sexuality. It is still tacky to go around spreading someone's personal information that they purposely do not want into the world. But to do it on your large platform in broad daylight on the internet, I didn't think it was cool. And the page that decided to cover it, Supreme Teams or whatever, the Messy Tea page, you know, we have a history. Nico, more like they, it's a long story. Point, they decided to cover this story and then attached one of the man's leaked nudes. Nico and... If he uses his promo, come forward, Supreme Page, and let us know if, you know, he's the one that sent you the picture. But to my knowledge, he doesn't have OnlyFans. He doesn't do porn. So you're leaking and sharing his leaked nudes. So I, I don't agree with that either. It's just the whole situation is an invalidation of this man's privacy for the sole fact that he is fine. People feel like because he is desirable, because a lot of people want to see him naked, a lot of people want his attention, it's okay to go divulge his information and share his nudes. And I don't think that's cool. But for the most part, to my knowledge, he does not. To my knowledge, he identifies as straight. And y'all are just invalidating this man so that y'all can both get clicks and views onto your page. But yes, definitely drop your opinions down below. Have you watched Bad Boys Houston, Baddies Houston zeus fight night you know gay fight club whatever you want to call it did you watch this new episode new season i did not the man is fine but not fine enough for me to subscribe to zeus network i'm gonna keep it a buck with you i'm gonna keep it a buck but definitely drop your opinions down below how do you feel about fat cat coming forward unwarrantedly to out this man about his sexuality even though it's alleged that there was rumors on an old website that nobody really uses anymore in that context about his sexuality and Fat Cat just brought it to a New Day main stage. So now everyone knows rather than just the select few people that were on Tumblr back in the day. How do you feel about the Supreme page attaching this man's leaked nudes to the post? Because it's one, th <laughs> it's terrible, but it's one thing to out someone's sexuality. It's another thing to put their nudes on blast. It's just an overall tacky situation in my opinion, but definitely drop your opinions down below. Boop. And a quick yet sincere shout out to this week's Third Eye Tier subscribers, Kenneth Q and LaShawn R. Your continued support is greatly appreciated. And unfortunately, this week's live streams will be canceled because I will be traveling and I will most likely be very jet lagged. Thank you for your understanding and I can't wait to see you guys next week.